now we'd like to have the children come forward for a story time. Story time, and the adults can listen in if they wish. Appreciate Mary Jane with the story. shop uh, in his house and he did carpentry work for the people that needed help repairing things or building things so he had a lot of tools and stuff and and he had a lot of wood and stuff so anyway his son Tom liked to hang out out there with his dad you all like to hang out with your dad sometimes I know I did anyway Tom was down there one day and he saw a piece of wood and he asked his dad if he could have it because he wanted to make a boat. So his dad helped him kind of shape the piece of wood to look like a boat and, and he worked it out and he sanded it and then he helped him drill a hole so he could put a dowel down for the, the staff, for the, the sail. And then he had some old paint around the house, the shop. So Tom painted his little boat. And he had like some material that he put on the dowel and to make a sail for his little boat. And he was really excited about it. He was so pleased with his creation. And he had a string that he tied to an, a notch on the boat. And then he took it down to the river. Now it wasn't a big river. It was a small river. But anyway, he took it down to the river and he put the boat on the river and holding onto it with his string, he'd see the boat float and go with the waves and the current and stuff. And all of a sudden there was a big current that came along and it pulled his boat out into the middle of the stream and it pulled so hard that it broke the string. Well, that boat just went rushing downstream. Well, he jumped up and he chased after it as best as he could. I mean, he had to run around trees and work through paths and everything to get along the river and he looked and he looked and he couldn't find his boat. It just didn't seem, and he searched and he searched and he actually searched until it started getting dark and he knew his mother would be upset if he stayed out much longer so he went home and he was very sad well several days later he was coming home from school and he passed a second hand store and you know what he looked in the window and there was his boat. He knew it was his, it just looked like his boat. It had to be his boat. He looked at it really, really carefully. That's my boat. And he went in to see the shopkeeper and he says, you know, that's my boat that you have in the window. And the shopkeeper said, well, I'm really, really sorry, but you know, somebody else brought that boat in to me. And if you want it, you're going to have to buy it. It's a dollar. Well, but he wanted his boat back. So he went home and he emptied his piggy bank out and he counted his money and he had just enough money, a dollar. And he rushed back to the <laughs> store and he paid the shopkeeper the dollar. He says, here's the money for my boat. And the shopkeeper gave it to him. 
You know, when he left that shop, he hugged that boat because it was so dear for it. Because, you know, he said that boat was his twice. He made it and he bought it. So it was his twice. You know? Kind of like God. God made us and he bought us with his when his son died on Calvary. Amen. Right? For our sins? Amen. Right. So he bought and paid paid for us. Anyway. God made us and he made this whole world. And if you you have to believe that, don't let anyone tell you that God didn't create this world. Don't let anybody tell you that about the theory of evolution because that's wrong. Because we know that the Bible is the truth. Amen. Right? Yes. Amen. Okay, so anyway, God, God made us and he loved us and he made this wonderful world for us around that these beautiful trees for you to climb in the summertime and, and the, the nice places to swim, the ocean and the beach and all that he made. And, and, and he, he wants us to love him back the same way that he loves us. He wants us to be thankful for everything he gives us he wants us to communicate with us through prayer, and he wants us to rely on him to help us through all of our problems. He bought us and he paid because of our sin. And sin is that bad thing that we do. And sin Sin can kind of overpower you if you're not careful. It'd be just like that boat racing downstream. But we have to count on God to give us the power to overcome sin and to forgive our sin, of course, but the power also to overcome it. Because God what does John 3.16 say? Exactly. They all knew it. Praise the Lord. Anyway, Jesus came to this world to seek and to save, and he died on that cross for us. He paid the price. So we, we have what's called an inheritance from him. And we have been bought and paid for by him. And you know what? God wants us to be obedient and return his love and trust him to take care of us each and every day. Anybody want to pray today? Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blessing of another Sabbath day. Be with us as we go to this worship service and may we always remember that you died for our sins. Amen.